obviously dollar cost averaging you guys this is the this from this point right here to, for, to the next year is probably going to be some of the best dollar cost averaging you're going to be able to ever do doesn't mean that you, you won't be dollar cost averaging into a brand new coin that launches a year or two years from now but i'm talking about the, the coins that exist today this is probably gonna for the next year it's gonna be some of the best prices ever this is where people are gonna be jealous of like like wow you bought this at this wow you bought that at that lucky oh yeah luck yeah luck. <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah, I would I would add and say kind of a similar thing that if you want to look at it from a really big perspective, again, I don't want to repeat what I said before, but it's just there's going to be a migration that's going to take place, a significant migration from the traditional world of value, you could say, to a new digital world of value. And if you look at it that simply, you say, okay, wow, macro, just the, just the way, just just the events that are happening currently in the world, and the, and the macro financial system is extending the window of opportunity. Now that window of opportunity comes with an insane amount of fear, right? Because meaning not, not saying you should be fearful, I'm saying the overall people are, around you are fearful, right? So there is gonna be an extended window of opportunity, I think, for people to get into crypto uh, because of what's happening macro and global. Mm. But yeah. this window is critical because in my opinion, you know, once this all this stuff settles out, now it might take multiple years still, but once it kind of settles out, the amount of adoption that's coming in this that is is going to be moving in and they're going to be behind the scenes while a lot of the stuff's going on globally positioning themselves right they are they are they have been right exactly and and we might not see all the headlines and and the people aren't even in the space they're not even going to realize it and and so but yeah this this is the bigger picture perspective it's right now globally there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of fear um but for the people paying attention we have an extended amount of time, I actually think now, to really position ourselves. But once that window's gone, it's not fully lost, of course, but you might miss out on the big, biggest opportunity, right? So there's always gonna be more, but just be aware of, of this of this situation and, and look at it as okay. It, there's gonna be some pain in, in markets over the coming years potentially, but um, you wanna position yourself now. And you have you have time because of what's going on globally. So you can look at it in different ways. You can look at it as like, shit, wow, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of panic, there's a lot of fear. Financial systems are going through a lot, but um, it's just it's just amplifying the opportunity and the time frame we have to take advantage of. What we need to take advantage is the key. Yep.